Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa, basic, uh, basic minister, rather Minister for Basic Education Enzi Mochecha, and uh, the MEC for Education in the Free State uh, Tate Mahwe will be visiting Pehlang Secondary School in Paris. And uh, SAPC News journalist Aldrin Sampia is there, and uh, we cross over to him. A very good morning to you again, Aldrin. What's happening at the moment? Well, good morning, Simpio. The program is about to kick start any moment from now. The Deputy President has arrived and uh, we have the Basic Education Minister also here who will be joining me right now. Good morning, Minister. Um, I was speaking to the spokesperson, um, Troy Martins, early on. We were speaking about how well the school has done 100% over the past two years. It has done exceptionally well and she was speaking about the public-private partnership that has also helped the school do as well as it did. But a question that we couldn't get to was um, those schools that um, have, have, have received a 0% pass mark. What's this type of intervention that the basic education will be putting in? Yeah, I looked at those schools also that got a zero. It went back to the point I've been raising with provinces. They must shut down unviable schools. Schools that got zero are schools with eight kids, with five kids. You can't provide for those learners. So it's unviable schools in the main. So we have to push very hard with those provinces to make sure that unviable schools become something of the past. They find spaces for those few learners that are there so they can go to a full school that can provide all the full services that they need. So that's the first approach that we're going to do with the provinces where there are zeros. But in the other provinces where there's even less than 20%, uh, the, the provinces have committed that they're going to really move in. So it's the provinces that have to give me reports as to what they're doing. So I'll be waiting for their improvement plans and if we're unhappy, engage them and say we're not happy and we don't think they go far enough. Let's speak about today's event. I'm looking at the state of readiness. Of course, the schools are opening across the country. Um, what's your assessment? Of, what, what has your assessment been from the various districts in terms of the state of readiness? Uh, for most provinces, it's all systems go for Bigger provinces which have got lots of in-migration, there's lots of difficulties. In Limpopo, I got reports, for instance, that because of the fact that they awarded the stationary tender very late in the year, they're only delivering from this week, they'll be finished in the next 10 days. But under general, from the reports that we received, and I think we'll be monitoring throughout the day, its systems go, except for admission uh, uh, challenges, both in mainly in Gauteng, and a bit in the Western Cape. So we'll be working with the province to see how we assist them. And let's speak about um, those uh, provinces that are actually struggling at the moment. Um, for instance, you've mentioned Gauteng. We've had parents that have been complaining, saying that they were told um, last year already to make an application and make sure that the kids are admitted to various schools. They were given um, details confirming that the schools, the, the children will be admitted. However, this year when they went to these schools, nothing. Yeah, we, as I say, I'm quite aware and I've been speaking to the MEC. They are working very hard to make sure that they can resolve the current uh, challenges that they have with admissions. And they've undertaken that by end of this week they would have dealt with most cases. And in the, in the next 10 days I think we would have dealt with most of the cases. But it is still a major problem in Kauteng. What's your message then to parents? Uh, to parents, I'm saying they must be patient with the province we, or with, with the department. We are aware that it's our responsibility to find spaces for every learner. We'll do everything in our powers or in, to, to make sure that indeed we are able to place all learners. But if they could just be patient and not be agitated because it won't give space. I mean, agitation won't uh, uh, create spaces and just allow the provinces to deal with the matters because they know it's their responsibility. They just need time, support and patience. But generally, to say to parents, part of the, so, uh, part of the winning solution for this school was the involvement of parents. It was a very difficult school. They had lots of gangsters. They had lo very low performance. But because the parents came to the party to work close with the school and the partnership that brought it two years in succession, we really have a school that now is viable and is working very well. Can you make a promise right now that every single pupil in the country will be placed in a school? It's our legal responsibility. You can't run away from it. It's our duty as government that, for, that we have, because basic education is compulsory, so we have to find space. It may not be today, but it may not be in the next two days, but in the, within 10 days we'll do everything in, in, in our powers to make sure that there is space for them. It's our legal responsibility, so we can't run away from it. 
2017 obviously a new academic year and it presents a new opportunity for the class of 2017, the matriculants specifically. Some of the issues that you had raised pro previously when you made the announcement of the matric results is the issue around mathematics and now mathematics, uh, uh, maths and literacy as well, which you said that uh, there is a red flag. Do you think there are any other interventions probably that the Department of Basic Education can come up with to make sure that um, the pass marks when it comes to the mathematics and maths literacy does increase? Now we're at a beautiful round table with experts in the country who are doing maths, with NGOs, with academics, and material uh, producers, cu curriculum experts, and it has given, it has renewed my hope that we will see not, because the improvement has been happening but very slow, and I just think we'll be able to, to, to ratchet our, our performance, and I'm very confident that we will be continuing to do the, the, the necessary pro improvements. And of course, the teachers will have to play a major role in that. Thank you so much. There you have it from the Basic Education Minister, um, Angie Mutsera, speaking about the plans for this year. And of course, um, that big issue around the admissions at various schools where parents have said that they're quite frustrated that their children have still not been placed in school. She has made a promise that probably in the next 10 days, those kids who still have not been placed in various schools will be placed. It's back to you in studio.